When I arrived last night, I actually threw my uh, crawfish trap for the first time. In there, I put sausages and uh, dog food. Um, the trap came with rope, uh, but I used my other, my own rope. And but they didn't provide the sack, like in which to put the actual bait. So it's kind of like hanging or something like that. This is gonna get a little tricky right now. So it's sitting right there. I have it tied to the rock right there. Let's. Uh, Let's see, last night, uh, oh, uh, crayfish supposedly night, uh, the best caught uh, at night. Uh, so it's a good idea to just arrive, put it, wake up next morning, collect. Uh, I already checked it out. I didn't see any crawfish. I just saw small little trouts that I'm gonna release, but let's see. Here we go. Almost slipped last night in here. I was like, oh, 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 and managed to land on the rock. Uh, one downside with this uh, cage, that's a weird design, I don't know why they would do it. So it's got 10 holes all around that they can get in, but also one hole in the bottom. Instead of like some sack hanging where you can put bait, it's got a hole. So when I threw it in here, a bunch of my bait, sausages and so on, actually like went out of the bottom. Uh, so what I did later uh, in the evening, well at night, uh, I reloaded a few more uh, and that bottom I just tied in a knot uh, so it's not an opening anymore. Uh, let's see, let's see what we got here. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da. Okay, so this is what it looks like. There's all these holes here they can get in. And as you can see, there's actually some splashing going on, but these are all tiny little uh, yeah uh, I think I think it's trout it's got to be trout so I'm gonna just release those clean this up and uh, on the fast moving river like this I guess I could keep still trying every time but no luck unless maybe find a spot where it's like calm and slow that's why I threw it over here it's kind of calm spots but, yeah so far nothing so I'm gonna release this little guys. Come on, come on you. Ta -da. Oh yeah, this is gonna take a while. I'm just gonna shut off camera. Also, I just realized I need to buy a book or maybe download an app for uh, foraging mushrooms. So I got these suckers here, like so. The ones that kind of grow out of the wood. And there's a bunch here and this is what uh, the other side looks like uh, generally when you have stripes happening on the mushroom like so like doo -doo -doo -doo, these are poisonous uh, but not all of them and I've seen some program on TV where they gather like uh, similar kind of mushrooms that grow out of like wood or whatever on trees I think in Kentucky or some whatever state where actually each one of these mushrooms costs like I don't know 15 bucks or something like that not not this but whatever kinds but they look kind of similar some rare kinds in the woods that kind of look like poisonous shrooms but not and actually delicious and highly priced so potentially this could have been a mushroom dinner here but I don't know if they're poisonous or not so I need a I need some kind of book reference for BC at least so I used Garmin to check forecast, took like 20 minutes to get any info, you know, clouds and all that. And yeah, for today and Sunday, it does show, here you go, it does show, uh, where is it, okay, see, some precipitation for sure, well actually rain stopped right now, but uh, yeah. I don't want to start that uh, build video, rig video, and then be caught in the rain and it's all screwed and kind of like in the middle. I'll just have to do it some other time, sorry guys. And uh, I think what I'm going to try to do, because I still have one more night this weekend, I, I want at least one crawfish in this thing I bought. Uh, there is Folly Lake nearby. Uh, 
but even though it's end of September, there's people actually camping, so I, I have a high chance of uh, maybe going there and not finding a camping spot right by the water canopy. I don't want to walk too far to throw the cage. Uh, and I may come back here and someone takes this spot, which would suck. Uh, and I already kind of deployed, like I don't feel like going to Fall Lake, I want to stay here, do some edits, but at the same time I, I really want to try this thing. And lake, especially that one, it's small lake, should be the place for this kind of stuff, exactly. So Foley Lake was a fail, uh, I, all the campgrounds there were taken and the northern part supposedly you can get to, uh, yeah kind of northern part. There is a big side slope, uh, I could probably do it but now I'm tipsy with uh, all this uh, additional weight so I didn't want to take the risk and I decided hey why not come to Jones Lake again because this is proven crawfish ground. This is the highest lift job I ever had to do and I actually couldn't do it alone. Those rocks are super huge. I had this gentleman here help me out. Thanks, man. No problem. Yeah. Uh, by the way, what's your name? Delano. Delano. Oh, so that's why you said, oh, I speak to the dog Italian. Yeah. Because you don't actually have accent in English. Not that I can... No. You were born here? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Well... I can, I can understand my grandparents. That's all they speak is... She, she can understand them. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for help. But uh, now it's like, <laughs> I have to get a ladder for the future, it's ridiculous. Uh, this is like real exercise here. So in order to get in, like how I usually do it, I go my leg over here, but <laughs> there's no way I can do it. Because this is slightly different spot than uh, last weekend I was here. I was a little bit too where those guys are. So... <laughs> Ooh, home <laughs> uh, okay so I got my uh, trap here I'm gonna load some sausages and just gonna throw it till I'll check it later in the evening the trap isn't too far I couldn't throw it far I'm probably gonna regret what I'm gonna do but <laughs> I'm gonna take my pants off all right this is the part I'm gonna probably regret a lot so the glacier <laughs> water right here it's cold, it's end of September, never done anything like this, but I want the trap to be much further, much deeper. For this I need to walk. My rubber boots were, uh, you know, like I already walked with them, they weren't high enough. Those guys left fire, so that should warm me up. I got towel out, so let's, uh, let's do it. I may scream like a little girl, so watch out. Here goes nothing. Okay. Oh my god, this is holy crap. This is whew, it's gonna take uh, effort to not to swear. This is cold. Ah holy shit. Oh. Better be worth it, but better be a catch end of the day today. Something. Ah. <sighs> 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 And I couldn't even throw it a little further. Okay, this was uh, this was pointless, kind of. Come on, settle down, settle down, settle down. Do it. Okay, wasted effort. It kind of gets deep here very fast, so I can't really walk over there. Oh, pants on. Okay, I didn't have to go to the fire and I definitely regret what I just did. My legs are freezing. 
I didn't really achieve anything. I think the amount of throw that I did from over there, it's pretty much same distance it landed that uh, uh, when I was doing with boots. So whatever. I think what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna leave it. I'm not even gonna bother checking what's going on. I'm gonna tonight. I'm just gonna leave it till morning because uh, crawfish nocturnal. So that's where it should be more profitable to actually do it. So yeah, tomorrow I'll check. So I got a little update. The crawfish is actually a success. So I, I passed out at 7 p.m. Right now it's 11:30. Uh, so I woke up. Now I feel like I need to do some editing. Well, and I, I, I have energy and so on. I guess I had some beers with that and I passed out. So uh, not that I had too many. No, I don't know. It's just it was so cozy inside. I locked up and. Uh, yeah, it was warm, I went into sleeping bag and I guess I just fell asleep. So, I woke up and I'm like, okay, I kind of feel like eating a little bit right now. Let's, let's check the cage. Let's not wait till morning. And it's a success. This is, so there, there is one, two, three, four, five, five that I can see here. This is uh, on the smaller side, these two here are actually quite big. They're the size of my palm, you can see, but this is, yeah. So I got five guys and they're nocturnal. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put them in the pot. This is gonna be my little dinner here, Louisiana and spice, all that. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm not even sure if I need to refill with dog food. Yeah, maybe I'll throw some more dog food just so there is more fresh stuff. Uh, sausages are still here. I'm gonna throw it for the morning. Check this out. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Dinner. Okay, so five guys. But I bet overnight there's gonna be way, way more. Houston, we have a problem. My Louisiana sauce, I guess I already had in mind like, oh, prepping for winter or whatever, I don't need it. I actually somehow removed it home. But, and Father, thank you. I used your, uh, your uh, uh, pockets here, this one here, and this one over here, and I like them. So far they don't detach velcro from the metal sheets here so i'm gonna need uh one two three three more probably four uh, i'll ask you for links for those but this is now my spices shelf Let's see what do we have here chili and garlic so i'll come up oh actually this is probably good for crawfish I'll just leave it makes a few hours and time to start cooking yay Yummy, yummy red stuff. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Delicious. It's gonna be awesome. So, this is next morning. It's about 10 p.m. Took me about an hour to make coffee, wake up. I just kind of extended my arm towards the stove and to preheat the place from like, uh, I think it was set in my thermometer, something like 12 degrees Celsius. So, I'm like, click, click, waited, got dressed. And it's kind of rainy a little bit, uh, dripping, very cloudy. All right, so let's see what we have in store here. I hope something. Well, this is the trap right now is closer than actually the first time I threw it because I actually walked and so on. Whereas uh, yesterday, uh, like at night, I didn't actually change or anything or undress just from the shore to here. That's as far as I could throw and also the trap has a floor, so total I probably threw it about uh, maybe six times yesterday, seven times, and uh, the the metal rods that, that make structure they bent a little bit, just from the uh, pressure of throwing. Oh yeah, there is there is definitely something. But I don't think as much as uh, 
last night. Nah, definitely not as plentiful. There's only there's only two crawfish here with a decent size, and the rest uh, and the other one is tiny. So I think throwing further probably is the key here. Uh, or maybe they're not so nightly here. Maybe it's that evening thing. Maybe that was the best time for this. Regardless, I had a full crawfish dinner last night, so I'm not missing out really. Uh, here's my uh, mix of sausages with dog food. And come on, move. There you go, sit me. Oh uh, yeah, see the, the structure is kind of bent a little bit like this. These rods here, they bent. I'm not sure what exactly happened. I'll see if I can somehow fix this. But it's kind of hard to make it like properly stay now. And I think this is part of it. Maybe I lost some because because it's not fully straightened. Basically, these pockets here where you can get in. When it's straight, they're actually offset from the ground about this much so once you like get in you drop you can get out whereas now it's attaching like lots of these holes they're touching the floor that could be maybe how some of them got out not sure there you go. i'm just gonna let these guys the two guys go i'm not gonna really cook anything of them this is not as, well, this is actually more than three inch size. I think the limit, allowable limit, it's gotta be more than three inch long, uh, or actually three inch, something like that in BC. So it's already a good size. Okay. But also I think partially because dog food uh, tends to, uh, tends to float above even when soaking wet. Uh, so I need to come up with some kind of a little pouch thing. Well, maybe now I need a new uh, crayfish trap, I'm not sure. Uh, if I can straighten the, the rods, then uh, yeah, I'll have to get a new one. Thank God it's like 20 bucks, 25 bucks. This one costs 10 holes. But this is not cool. Like it's gotta be different brand at this point because uh, what is it, six, seven times throw, just, you know, like it's, it's umbrella, it's expanded. I just kind of like, mm, mm, and, psh, and that's it. There's got to be something more solid than this. But anyway, so that's been the first time crawfishing and some story time uh, from previous uh, vlog video. Until next time, ciao. Well, I hope you liked this episode. And if you did, you can support me by uh, hitting the like button and subscribe. And also check out my previous videos uh, by hitting the links below or just after this video.